What is up, guys? JFM here, back with another texture pack review for you all. This is a uh, smooth tick texture pack for Minecraft Pog Edition. It is the smooth tick. Um, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to do it. This, as you can see on the screen, was ported by Leon19, who does a lot of texture packs, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. Now, I have to say, something different about this one is this changes basically every single aspect of your game. From the blocks, from the items, from the GUI, to the selection, the menu screens, it's all there it's all changed and it's all looking pretty nice. So it even changes the little bottom corner. It has a star next to the Mojang AB, uh, whatever that adds. I'm not too sure, but it's pretty cool. So I'll show you guys the settings right now, just because it is, you know, it is worthy of noting because it all they all changed. Now it's nothing drastic, but the colors and hues of all the buttons changed, and I think that's a nice touch to add on. Also, all of these buttons have changed. A little bit and um, these are my world so let's go ahead and show you guys what a normal world would look like on this as you guys can see the d-pad is scubified it's cubified um the crosshairs are pretty nice looking and all of the items as you guys can see all of the items have changed uh changed so it's really really awesome now this is a 16 by 16 texture pack so you're not going to encounter any bugs Fairly, fairly easy to run and very, very smooth. It doesn't really, um, doesn't make the gameplay any laggier because it is 16 by 16, which is the exact same definition as the original texture pack. It's only going to change the textures. So you are perfectly fine installing this, even if on your, if you're going to get the same performance on, uh, you would on, on, oh my gosh, can I talk? You are going to get the same performance as you would on a lower end device. There we go. So this is actually a really cool seed. These are some baby cows over here. Um, nothing too special, but yeah, so this is what some of your terrain is going to look like. Obviously, this is just an Extreme Hills, um, spruce wood, taiga, whatever you want to call it, biome, but um, nonetheless, this is basically um, how they're all going to go. Now, the grass and, and the grass and trees and all those colors are going to change, but basically, this is the concept. It's a very cute-ish looking, block-ish looking texture pack that's definitely you know, friendly to all ages, you know, it's pretty cool, it's, it's definitely, I think it's geared toward younger, uh, audiences, but I definitely like this one, because it's like, it, I don't know, it just makes everything more, um, more stress-free, I, I feel like if I was gonna get in a fight with, uh, with a creeper or a skeleton, having this texture pack on would make it a little bit less, less scary, less, a little, a little bit less, um, intimidating, that's the word, so, I think it's, it's also a pretty cool one as well, it doesn't change the game too much, I don't really like it when, um, texture packs change games drastically, so you don't even, like, you can't even tell it's Minecraft anymore, I don't like that, I don't like when you can't tell what blocks are what, and obviously on this one, it's, uh, it does a great job of staying true to Minecraft, but giving it its own flair, so, enough with the chit chat, let's go ahead and hit it off with, the texture pack review. So it's going to take a little second or two to go. Oh, see, block launcher. Why well, I got to be doing that, my dog? Uh, return to normal, please. Can you return to normal? Continue. All right, so now we are back on the... <laughs> the the schedule we're back on schedule here so yeah this the this this is the texture pack world thank you once again i'll fly over here so you guys can get the name spelling and all dynamic gamer very very awesome map he made this a while ago and i'm just going to use it because it's really convenient so yeah he made this awesome texture pack map um where you can go over all of the things of the texture pack. Now, my last texture pack videos were ages long, like 20 minutes each, so I'm just going to shut up on this one and kind of just guide you through. You you know what all this is. These are the crops. Nice. It does not change that. Anything it doesn't change, it's going to leave the same, so you're not going to have any bugs. I do... Oh, I'm going to tell you what I like the best, though, what I think is really, really cool. Let me go ahead and get this out of the hand, so I don't place any more blocks. Um, I definitely love the, uh, the beats. They're very cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> um, we'll start right over. We will start right over on the wools, maybe? Yeah, on the wools and the leaves and whatever, whatever else is over there. Um, yeah, okay. Some leaves, cake, the wool blocks. Very nice. Very nice. TNT. Uh, these are actually vines, despite if you think, I don't know, these are, these, these are vines. I like it, but I don't like it, um, I just don't like the linearness, but I guess it, since it's like a cubic texture back, it goes, I just, I don't know, 
it's whatever. It's whatever to me. The glass is awesome, though, because once it's on a build, you can clearly see through the window, which is great. I like the doors. These are the trap doors. The fences, uh, you know, all your flowers. I don't know the names. Um, some of them changed, but some of them haven't. As you can see, like, this one's changed. I don't know if this one... I think that has. Yeah, that definitely has. And I no, I guess all of these have changed, actually. I'm not sure about the tulips, but everything else I am noticing changes in now that I'm looking at it, um, except... No, actually, no, I think everything did change. That's pretty neat. Um, I thought when I was do when I was doing a once-over of this, making sure there were no bugs and looking at it, I definitely thought that some of the plants didn't change, but it actually looks like all of them did. So I'm super, super, super amazed that that actually happened. Now, of course, I had to break it because I'm an idiot, but let's go ahead and see if we can fix that. Um, this was a fern, was it not? There you go, fern! And then we just got to, I think we can place the second one on top of it. No, you have to bone meal it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a little bit of a tutorial, in-game tutorial. Uh, you know, you never go wrong. Uh, that's bone meal. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh shoot, what the heck was that? <laughs> I just like choke slam myself. Um, yeah. So over here we have the spider web, the two mushrooms, which actually look absolutely awesome. I love them. I love them. Um, here is the grass, the regular fern, like you guys already saw from my failed attempt over there. Um, all the saplings, fairly simple. The sign, which kind of stayed really true to the original, but I think it is a little bit edited, um, which is pretty cool. The rails, oh my goodness, would you stop it? So they need to make an adventure mode uh, option so you can't break anything. Thank you. <sighs> goodness. Okay, so we have the water, farmland, uh, lava fire, the cart and whatnot. You know, it's all good, it's all good. Um, the carpets, which is, our, it's, they're the same as the wool. So we can go ahead and jump on to the this train over here. The cactus, melons, pumpkins, the cute little pumpkin faces, those are awesome. Uh, the wool, uh, no, not the wool. <laughs> hey, that's the word I'm looking for. The leaves, um, all the different bricks and stone bricks and mossy br variants, variants. We have the nice looking uh, planks, some more diorites. The diorites and whatnot haven't changed. The cobble and brick and whatnot. Um, or the smooth stone and the brick, excuse me. Um, over here we have all the diorites and whatnot that haven't changed. Actually, this is just the plain dirt, the grass, podzol, mycelium, and then all the clays and the hardened, colored, painted, dyed, whatever you want to call them, stained uh, versions. Over here we have the sandstone and sand. Here's the red sand. Uh, clay. The tree trunks, which are pretty cool. I love the dark oak. It looks like a maze. Or no, acacia. It looks like a maze. This is the dark oak. I love it. I love it. Um, anyways, moving on. Nether brick. Nether rack. That's the word. Um, this would be... What's the word? Bedrock. That is it. Um, continuing on here, we have all the stair variants and the slab variants. Just the same as regular blocks, basically. Uh, the quartz. And then over here... Uh, there's a bad look at the quartz. I didn't really give you guys a good look. Those are the quartz. Here are the ores, which are by far my favorite part of the texture pack. They just look awesome. Look so awesome. Here's the obsidian. Ice. Snow. Sponge, I believe, and then gold block, iron block, diamond block, lapis block, coal block, I think, and then emerald, and then this is a little glass, full glass block, and then glowstone. Then we have all these, which these get a little bit annoying for me. I think that's the stone cutter, but I could be mistaken. I think, you know, it, it goes either way. That's stone cutter, furnace, something over there. I don't know. You see all these, there are too many of these. Um, similar looking ones. This is the one problem I have with this texture pack is, yes, you can tell it's a furnace, but I can't tell what this and this is. So we'll go ahead and check, actually, because, you know, it's a good thing to do. Um, yeah, stone cutter, and then what's the other one? Nether reactor core, okay. Nether reactor core does not look like a nether reactor core. It looks like an oven, but, you know, suits suits it. So this is actually the stone cutter. Well, I knew one of them was, because uh, they're basically the same. This one's basically the same as that on the top, except that one has got a little little red dot in it. So I gotta get used to that. Here are the chests, the furnace, like I said, um, the end portal, which I don't think has changed too drastically, which I like, but it does have a little bit of squared off and paled of texture, which I like. Um, over here are the mushroom blocks. And yeah, that's basically it. So we'll fly around. Here are all the trees. They look, you know, cool. You guys have seen most of them. I love, like I said, I love the acacia. It's so good. Um, other than that, the trees and whatnot are fairly normal. There are the mushrooms, uh, fairly simple. You guys saw those in the roof forests. Now, what may, what sets us apart so much is the paintings. I really do love them. Um, they're so simple. I love these ones, especially the ones with the faces on them. The pig, uh, the Rasta guy, the creeper, the enderman, the slime. They all just look pretty nice. Um, down here, I definitely do enjoy looking at those paintings. So, hopefully... Oh, shoot. I have mobs, too. You see, I always make these run so long. All right, anyways, we're going to speed through this. Zombie! 
Zombie Pigman, you looking very cool. Thank you for your time. You also edited the sword, which is cool. Uh, Mr. Zambi, the regular Zambi. Come on, look at me. Look at me, Zambi. There we go. Um, Skeleton, Crepeur. Um, over here, the villager. Uh, just one of them. There are a few more, but they're basically the same. Uh, chicken, cow, pig, sheep, um, mushroom, and wolf. Uh, fairly simple. The spiders. You know, this is a very, like I said, true to the original texture pack, so it's going to keep most of the mobs the same for the most part, just a little bit different. And of course, the slimes got to despawn. The silverfish are exactly the same, I believe. But we got to get the we got to get we got to get the OG boys back in. We got to get the slimes back in this thing. Where are they? Um, oh yeah, the the oh no 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 where are they? That's not it. There we go. The only uh, the only item in the game that isn't changed as far as I could tell are the spawn eggs. But I mean that's not really a problem because you're never going to see those in survival. Oh no, that was a misplacement. That was misplacement. Darn it. Uh, that's going to be a pain. Um, there is a slime. I like. We can check this one out. This is probably going to be a little bit more easier to see. But there we go. He is definitely pretty cool looking. He's very lime green, and you just got caught on fire. He just rode in the mine cart. He got caught on fire. Oh, that's awesome. Get in the get in the carts, boys. Get in the carts. Oh, there's another one. I don't think he's going to catch on fire though. No. Anyways, we got to we got to get these guys and I will end off the recording here because, you know, one, oh my gosh, this is going to be so painful to kill all of these. Sorry again. Um there is no uh, there are no there are no. There is no volume on this uh, video unfortunately. Android um, for some reason, I just can't get volume to work on it. I'll try. I'll keep trying. We'll see. Bonjour. Bye-bye. Stay frosty. <laughs> oh, see you guys. I'm <laughs> just messing around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're leaving this guy in here. All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh.